I've always loved these maps, and I've got quite a collection of my own. I'm sure quite a lot of people have. You know, it reaches millions of people. You know, the idea of your work being collected by millions of people, I love. I didn't want to make something that was a piece of graphic design. So it's just taking the very familiar map and making it a little bit more emotional. I always love that um, poster that Tate did. It was called a Tate by Tube, and that it showed lots of squirted out tubes of paint. Um, of different colours denoting the lines and I thought it would be really fun if I kind of recreated it and made a Rorschach blot out of it. Rorschach blots were a psychoanalytical tool. Um, ink blots were shown to the patient and, and the patient would say what they saw in the blot and they were usually abstract forms um, and this obviously is not an abstract form everybody can recognise it's based on the tube lines and I quite liked loading up the Rorschach with you know something that's very recognisable. So the idea of taking the tape by tube poster and, and folding it in on itself and then uh, people being able to see a squishy painterly uh, tube map. So what I did was I made lots of very wet uh, paintings of the tube map with paint and from memory so they were not very factual really but they just were kind of got more and more sort of um, shorthand the, the more I did them and then I made blots out of them. I've made um, other Rorschach blots using poison and antidote, using black ink which has snake venom in it. So I dissolved that in the black ink so it made it a poisoned ink, like a poison pen letter perhaps. And then I, I used white ink using the antidote for the, the snake venom in the white ink so I made black and white Rorschach blots. I think it, what I like about the underground is it's almost like the subconscious of the city and somehow there's something very interesting about that and it has different moods at different times of day. So it, it was an inspiration. Most of my work I think of as being drawings, you know, whether they're big installations or you know, little scribbles. And so uh, I think this is, sits very comfortably in my oeuvre, especially when I, I use very often quite famous or iconic landmarks in my work. So this is a very iconic thing, I think, the, the tube map.